authors uh, from the three sons of Noah. As we go into the 21st century, uh, you're going to see uh, the Jews begin to arise. Uh, the blacks begin to arise. Uh, and they're going to stand shoulder uh, to shoulder. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, all three sons uh, from Noah, uh, the, the Caucasian. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, the blacks. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, the Jews. Uh, they're going to stand shoulder to shoulder. He said, now you watch. Uh, as you come to the end of the, second, the third 2,000 year period, you watch. Uh, I'm going to raise up uh, these uh, other two brothers uh, to stand shoulder to shoulder. And so I began to watch in the 90s. Uh, and uh, and immediately after God told me that Nelson Mandela was freed from prison and became the president of South Africa I said my God God is for real he's showing me that God's about to raise up black folk to be prophets to the nations glory to God and then we came to the end of the 20th, 20th century and I started telling people you know God's getting ready to raise up a black president people were like I don't know about that and then in 1999 2000 there was a man by the name of Colin Powell that he was about to run for president I told somebody I said if he runs he's going to win hallelujah why why because God's getting ready to restore the other brothers from oh God the three sons of Noah when did he restore the Jews and the Arabs and them he restored them mid 20th century when they came back to their land after 2,000 years of being separated. And then in the 60s, the civil rights movement, black folk begin to rise up, say, I want to be free. You know what the cry to be free is? A cry to know Jesus. He said, hallelujah. Oh, yeah. he said, he whom the sun sets free is free indeed when you are bound it's a, it's how God hallelujah prepares you to cry out to him hallelujah and so Matt what's your name so on hallelujah here we are coming into the 21st century and then when they said Obama is running for president I said well Lord I, you know I would have liked a more uh, you know conservative kind of president a man that wasn't against hallelujah uh, doing away with abortion you know but I realized God you can do whatever you want to do hallelujah and God raised up this this man and what I'm telling you today hallelujah God is restoring the prophetic destiny of black folk do you know what our destiny our calling is let me slow down and explain it to you so we can pray when Israel went into Egypt they didn't go into Egypt as slaves they went into Egypt when Joseph was sent by God as a slave, how can a man be sent as a slave? The Bible said God sent Joseph as a slave. Well, all of you are saying, well, I don't think God would use slavery to, to, to send us to the nations of the world. He sent Joseph into Egypt, into Africa, because there was about to be a famine. Joseph saved that whole nation of Egypt in Africa from the famine. And he rose to second in command in Africa. Years earlier, Abraham sent by God into Africa during the famine. Years earlier, Isaac sent by God into Africa during the famine. Years later, Jesus is born. Herod's after him. Where should I go? Send, take that child, Jesus, to Africa. What is the destiny of that nation, that region, that continent? Africa. African Americans. Africa diaspora people. Africa is a continent of refuge. Africa is a continent of refuge. But the devil tried to distort it. Everybody stand to your feet. 
The devil tried to distort our destiny. But God is raising up a prophetic people. Do you hear what I'm saying? Do you hear what I'm saying? Do y'all hear what I'm saying? God is raising up a people that are going to be restored to their prophetic destiny. A people of reconciliation, a people of forgiveness first, reconciliation, and then reparations. We'll never get reparations until we turn to God and forgive. So we need to pray. God's house would become once again a house of prayer. Brian, I want us to pray that in fire in the night. That God's house would once again become a house of prayer for all nations. Because until we start praying again, together, we'll never be reconciled. I want to pray for you that have been struggling with your prophetic destiny. And you've been, heard, you've been told that your destiny is just to have a big house. Or your destiny is to have a whole lot of money. To go to college and be a professional and make a whole lot of money. Or you've just been told you got to have the American dream. Or you've been inundated with just being overly concerned about your destiny, your destiny, your destiny. I'm going to let you know tonight God wants to settle it once and for all. He's given us the ministry of reconciliation. God wants to heal our hearts of the hurts and the wounds, the misconceptions, the misunderstandings. He wants to unite us. He wants to unite us in his house of prayer. But you're going to have to hear the voice of God. You're going to have to obey the voice of God to let go of stuff you've been holding on to. When the spirit of reconciliation comes back on a people, That's when reparations will come. When the Jews in Egypt turned back to God, it wasn't easy. Moses had to convince them and Pharaoh. But when they turned back to God, God not only covered them and protected them, he prospered them. He caused the Egyptians to give them all of their wealth got them out in that wilderness and said tell them to bring me an offering so I can build so you can build me a temple that I would dwell with you purpose of God delivering us from slavery is so that we could build the house of prayer and when we turn back to God and we turn back to his will he'll, he'll prosper us he'll empower us to gain wealth that his covenant may be established. But the wealth is not for us. The wealth is for his house of prayer. So, Father, I pray. I pray for these. If you're here today and you're saying, I want a prophetic anointing so that I might be a people of prayer. I want to be healed of hurt, bitterness. Those that have misused me, whether it's, whether it's a ra another race or another mate, uh, uh, your spouse, if you're saying, I need to be healed so that I can be all that God has called me to be, hallelujah, meet me up at this altar and say, God, make me to know who I am in you. Make me to know what I'm called to do in you. Heal my heart and reconcile me to you and reconcile me to my fellow man. Just, just come to the altar and, and, and find you a place in prayer and ask God, God, you restore to me the prophetic. Just find you a place in prayer.
just find you a place in prayer and let God heal your heart. God. 